Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so, today's video, as you talk about the title, I will be reviewing the Elf Modern Metals Collection video. A video? I'll be reviewing <laughs> the Elf Modern Mel Melons. It's gonna be a long video, huh? I will be reviewing the Elf Modern Metals Collection that just released um, a couple, I think like a week ago. Um, I had this, I've had this collection for a while like the whole weekend like four or five days I've had it and I've tried to film, film this video like multiple times and every time I like something I hate about it and I'm like I can't post it I can't do it like the first time I filmed it I was like really like I was just chilling I had my hair in a bun I look literally crazy in the look like because I look so crazy the way the look turned out was kind of awkward to like look at you can't be like oh that looks so pretty because the rest of me looked crazy you know what I mean and um uh, then another time I filmed it, the lighting was just horrible because I was at home. So there's a whole lot of stuff that I was just like, this is unacceptable. So that's why if you guys saw my last video, it was a collection video part two. Um, those are kind of just like filler videos when I don't know what else to post or when everything else I try to post is really ugly. So as you can see, like I got my nails done, so all I'm doing is talking with my hands. <laughs> I don't want to show you them too close because, um... I bite my nails and so they're kind of chipping already even though I only got them I didn't even get them like a week ago it's less than a week ago so um there's a lot of products here and I feel like I need to just jump right in so that you guys know um, I'm trying to use new products that I just bought or old products that I left at home that I freaking fell in love with again um, I have a bunch of new stuff that you guys haven't even seen yet so I think what I'm gonna do is start with the eyeshadow palette and use it on my eye on my eye <laughs> On your eye I'm gonna use this um do my eyes first because um, I feel like this is what you came to watch so this is what you can get first and then the rest of the products if you want to keep watching you can go ahead and keep watching okay yeah so let's just get started first thing I'm gonna do is prep my eyes like always and the first product this is the Maybelline fit me concealer you guys know I love this um, concealer for prepping my eyes. The first product that is new that I'm going to be using is this Real Technique, Real Techniques Face and Body Sponge. I've been using this um, sponge for the past couple of days and I'm freaking obsessed. It is so easy. So it's like so like it's like the perfect amount of um what is it called like squishy like it's not like too squishy where like everything just like smashes against your like smushes against your face it's like the perfect like amount i don't even know of squishiness <laughs> and it makes everything so easy i've been using this side to blend out my foundation and it makes everything just so easy so quick it's like ksh, 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 done it's so easy okay so then i'm just gonna take my remote stay mat and set my eyes with that because there's no um, like white shade or shade to set my eyes with in the Elf Modern Metals palette, but I don't mind because again, I have like a hundred of those shades in my collection and I don't know why it bothered me in the beginning. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take, I watched somebody do their, this look and I was like, whoa. So the first thing I'm going to take is a fluffy brush that's clean because clearly a whole lot of these are not. I'm going to use the e.l.f. brush. I'm going to use the e.l.f. fluffy eye blender brush. I'm going to take the yellow shade and I'm going to blend that across like in my crease. The dark, dark. So because I've used this um, palette already, I've filmed this video so many times already, um, I already kind of know how the shadows perform. Um, and I'm freaking, I'm loving it. I've been like, this is like the most... Usually when I get a new palette, it kind of just chills in my collection. Um, it doesn't really get used that much. This is like, I have took it home for, with me for the weekend. And this, obviously this still was the only palette I took with me. But, like, I didn't feel like, um, like I felt like it was just such so good to have just this palette at home. You know what I mean? Like, I used it all the time. It was so nice. And, like, I got good looks out of it. So, I was really excited about that. Um... Oh my gosh, real quick, let me talk about this real, real fast. I know you're here for the Elf Modern Metals, but I forgot to mention what's on my lips. So this is actually the Mentha Lip Shine um, from Bath & Body Works. This is in just Mentha. It's like the mint one. 
And um, Juicy Jazz, if you guys watch her, she put me onto this. I freaking love it. I wear it all the time. I'm obsessed. And this is my favorite night balm, 8-hour overnight recovery. Like, it's literally called my favorite night balm. And this is so good. Literally, it lasts 8 hours. I literally tested it out. I went to bed, and I woke up the next morning, and my lips were juicy and plumped. So good. And then I actually got this lemon lip balm as well. The lemon lip balm isn't as good as the other two. She doesn't use this. She didn't like tell me to try this, but I just saw it there. So I was like, oh, let me just try this, like all three of these. But no, no, no. That lemon lip balm is, has nothing, like it's nothing compared to the other two. These two are really amazing. They're so good. I love them so much. So random. But I just wanted you to know what was on my lips. Oh my gosh. What the freaking... So what you're seeing right now, I probably took half of that out, but... Like, this eye went dark for a second, and that's because these pans are, like, so small that when I try to dip in here, it kind of, like, hits the blue a little bit. And so, like, my eye was turning blue, and I'm like, what the heck? But it's just, like, hitting it. That's one thing I don't like about, like, pans, like, even, like, this one from Urban Decay. I like the basic square or, um, square or whatever size. Is there circles? I don't know if there's circles, but I know there's squares. <laughs> Okay, so next, I'm going to take a smaller blending brush, like this one, my e.l.f. one. I left this at home, but I brought it back with me because I missed it. Um, and I'm going to take the shade. So, <sighs> I'm going to take this shade. Or did she use this one? I'm going to take this one, actually, just think, just because I want to. And she called them the girl who I watched do this kind of look. Um, she did something else in between there, but I don't remember what it was, so I'm just going to use this shade. Um, I saw her do, like, a look similar to the one I'm trying to do. And um, she kept calling those browns. And I was like, girl, I don't know about you, but that's not brown. And I get maybe, like, I don't even know. They don't even look anywhere near brown. She's like, light brown and the darker brown. And I'm like, that's not even brown. As you can see, guys, these shades are so pigmented. It's, like, awesome, actually. It's so hard with e.l.f. because so many people think, like, oh, they're just, like, the cheap brand. But, like... The shadows are so good and they're such great quality. One thing I love about these palettes, okay, I'm like talking a lot, but one thing I really love is that like e.l.f. probably knows that the most people who are going to buy their products are people who are just starting out at makeup because it's so cheap that they don't want to buy like the most expensive things. And so a lot of their products are like um, really like easy, like you can build them up or... Um, yeah, like, just build it up and stuff. And so I'm like, I think that's so great. Like, if I could, I could tell my mom, like, my mom doesn't really, like, do eyeshadow that much. But I could tell her, like, e.l.f. is really good because she just likes to build it up. Like, if she just, if the color just punches on her eye, it would not be good. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue shade and I'm going to put it on the outer corner. These mattes are, like, really, they're not really, they're, like, powdery. But they're like so pigmented, so I'm like, oh, this is great. Um, they're powdery like in the pan, if you can see that um, like pinker shade. I don't know, that looks red to me, like a brick red, but like whatever. She called it brown. But um, they're kind of powdery, but it's like, again, like I've said this a lot of times, like I've said this before, that doesn't really bother me. But like if that bothers you, then I'd stay away from this because they do tend to get really powdery. Um... I have learned, though, that I already love this freaking palette. This is so beautiful. I'm mean, going to hate that it's so small. Because, like, the e.l.f. Modern Metals, not Modern Metals, the e.l.f. Opposites Attract is so big. And, like, that one I'm probably going to reach for more than this because that one's just so big. This one's just so small, and I'm like, hmm. I, like, really love Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shimmer. I think I'm going to take the gold right here and put that on the lid. I have learned that the palettes, um, the shadows do go on really nice if you don't spray a brush. I can just show you real quick. This is without spraying my brush. See? Really pretty. But like spraying your brush just helps it like so much. Like it helps it look a little bit better. Um... the soccer team and they're like extremely loud like whatever 
I'm just gonna go back with the yellow and blend that like around the crease a little bit just really softly just so everything's blended but like reverting back to the yellow <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense but so before I do the lower lash line I'm gonna do my face so the first product here that I'm gonna use is not new it is the cover effects mattifying primer I've been using this all the time and I love it I wore I used um the combination of makeup that I'm gonna show you I wore um to a temple game and in um philly and my makeup lasted all day and it didn't like like i don't even know how to say that like like fall off my face which I, sometimes i feel like if i touch my face it's like i'm gonna get like foundation all over my face but when i use this combination it is just so so good it's like so bulletproof i love it Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is foundation, and I got this Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 322 Warm Honey. I love this, and I love this foundation, and I can 100% see why everybody talks about it. The thing, the pump does bother me because sometimes I pour too much, and I'm like, am I supposed to use that, or am I supposed to, like, put it back in, which is kind of helpful because I can put it back in, but, like, it's still kind of annoying. Um, what was it, turn? Um, but yeah, I can see why people talk about it all the time because it is just so, so good. Um, the only, like, for me, I don't, I'm really not, I watch a lot of YouTube, yeah, but I don't usually watch, like, usually buy what, like, the top trends are unless I know I'm going to use it. Like, the Physician's Formula, Formula Butter Bronzer is just not going to work for my skin, so I'm not going to go and buy it. And the deep shade just looks funny. Like, it doesn't look like a normal deep shade bronzer so i don't know i don't know if i want to waste my money on something that might not work for my skin you know what i mean um i don't know and that's a lot of things like like the age rewind concealer that everybody talks about i just like haven't felt the need to go and grab it like everybody talks about it but this because i like the maybelline and not the maybelline yeah this is maybelline but because i like the other maybelline foundation i don't remember what it's called but the other one I have, ugh, over the summer, it was so good. So I was like, oh, wait, man, I need to try this one. And it's so beautiful. I love it. I love the finish. It's it's matte and poreless, obviously. But um, it just makes the skin so it looks so nice. And this shade is literally, like, perfect for me right now. Even though it looks a little bit crazy right now. Once, like, with bronzer, it sets and everything, it just looks so, so beautiful on the skin. Um, just, ugh, I love it. What I did, I think I, oh no, <laughs> I was going to say, I said this before in a video, but that's because I filmed this video already, like I said, um, but what I did notice is that um, it doesn't even dry down completely matte, which I like, like if you're looking for something super, super matte, you might not like this, but personally, like you can still see like the, like the shininess of my um, face, basically, like it doesn't look matte, like with a matte primer and a matte foundation, you'd think that like there'd be no shine, but um, there's like a lot to shine and it's not that matte so I like it because I don't want it to dry the life out of my face but if you're looking for something like straight matte this probably might not be your choice okay so then what I like to do is take my giant brush and take my Rimmel Stay Matte I'm just gonna like do this real fast and then I'll move on to bronzer okay so for bronzer I am gonna do something a little bit dangerous I'm gonna mix two bronzers. One is the Hula Benefit bronzer. This bronzer is, looks like this, and I think it's gonna be a little bit too light for me, so I'm gonna mix it with my NYX bronzer. I was gonna save this bronzer for like summer, but I was like, if it works, if I can figure out a way for it to work, then I'd rather use this, um, use it up now instead of letting it just sit there. It's so pigmented and it's dark. So I'm really gonna pack on the Hula bronzer and just lightly try to work it in there. Ugh, this bronzer is just so pretty like that i like these the nyx bronzer better than i like the Too faced bronzer and the tart bronzer the next one's just so much nicer and i know like shades and stuff like shades are gonna make it look better and, or look worse but like even just putting it on i just feel like it just i feel talking like laura lee i feel like it just looks so much prettier on my skin 
I don't know. It's just me. I'm going to really try and use these up. I didn't use those, but I'm going to really try to use these up so that I can use these other two because I really like this combination actually on my skin. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is blush. And for blush, there is blush in the e.l.f. Modern Metals Collection. It's a blush palette and a highlighter blush and a highlighter palette. They don't have, like, they don't, they're not names. It's just, like, the Modern Metals blush palette. So it would be, like, the Modern Metals, Metals eyeshadow palette. This is the Modern Metal, Metals. Okay, that's, like, a tongue twister. This is the Modern Metals blush and highlight palette. So there's not, like, another name for it. It's just that. Um, so another th new thing, so this is new, and another new thing that I picked up was this e.l.f. Simpson <laughs> Selfie Ready Stippling Brush, and this, I love this, it's so nice. I'm gonna dip into this shade, and yeah, I'm just gonna dip into that shade. Look how powdery it is, it's so powdery. Again, I don't mind, but like, that's a lot. Um, I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks, and um, I love this brush, it's kind of hard, so I want to look at different stippling brushes but i do like the way it applies my blush Ugh, just so pretty and it looks so like not harsh and crazy i don't know i love it and this blush i do freaking i do love this blush palette elf really killed it with this collection i'm being like so honest i mean the the last the last two releases that they had the opposites of track in this collection they really just killed it they went like in I'm gonna kill it and these shades to me are not like normal shades which is bittersweet because i know i'm not gonna reach for it like over other blushes but it's when i do want something different i have it if that makes sense i don't know like i feel like it's just so different the undertones are so different like everything about this palette is just so different like these are this is orange so i don't know but um <sighs> It's good working for them if people are looking for different stuff, which I like to have different things in my collection. It's just hard when, like, um, my pile's building up and there's something, like, I really, really want. And I have, like, this palette that um, I only use half the time because of the shade. You know, I don't know how to explain that. But, like, it's bittersweet. I like it. I love the formula. I love the um, way it applies, the way it wears, all of that. But I don't know if I like the shades. Like, I'm in love with the shades. Like, I feel like they could have... Um, done two like i don't know like two collections or something like a bold collection and then like a neutrals collection like whereas regular shades of blushes and then they did these crazy ones i don't know i don't know maybe that's just me so real quick i'm gonna use this nars blush on top it just really is so beautiful and this brush this this um blush used to not show up on my skin but this br brush i'm like saying a lot of words this brush really just helps it and it puts down like the sheen that i want i love it i love this blush now this is what made me love this blush and also the same with the, my luminoso i wasn't like really that big of a fan of this until i used it with this brush and this brush really just saved these blushes because they look so gorgeous on my skin now don't know that's so weird but i love it okay so we're gonna move to the eyes again i have so many products here i'm like which one is new which one is not we're gonna finish off the eyes and i think what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna take that purple shade and put that bad boy on the lower lash line so i'm gonna take this elf brush this is the eyeshadow c brush i love this brush i'm gonna take the purple shade and i'm gonna put that on the lower lash line i think i said that already but you know what i mean That is so pretty. That is a pretty purple. That is like really gorgeous. I'm kind of obsessed. <sighs> Real quick, guys. I love, I can swatch the shades that I did not use, which was this matte shade. I've used this matte shade before. It's just like a neutral matte. It's really pretty. And then this, these, um, um, shimmers I did not use. I just, I want it, like, real quick, I want to tell you, like, I love this palette. I freaking, it's just so good. It is so good. It's only $12. I was going to say $10. This is $12, but it is so good. So worth the money. It is so great. So beautiful. And this is not an everyday palette, I would think. I, you could get some everyday looks out of it, but, like, they're a little bit bolder, like, with the blue and the purple instead of, like, a brown, where, like, a brown would make it more everyday, but since it's blue and purple, it, like adds a little something something so this palette is just so good it's so worth it the whole collection is honestly worth it 
Um, you get a lot of stuff in it that is really great quality. I'll show you the lip products later, but just for now, that's what I, I think that it's so worth it, the whole collection, especially the blush and the eyeshadow. The blush palette and the eyeshadow palette. Especially that. I forgot to do my brows. So for my brows, I got two bad boys from home. I got my AOA um, brow pencil and my Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil. I love these both. Um, so I'm going to use the AOA one, and I'm totally like... Putting my, um, sending my Makeup Revolution brow pencil. I'm sending that home because my sister can use it. I like these a little bit better. I'm just gonna finish these and I'll be right back. I feel like these brow pencils, the AOA one and the Wet Wild one, just makes my brows look so much better because they need. I need to do a little bit more shaping than before. Where like this one, the Wet Makeup Revolution one, isn't that good for shaping brows. These two are really good for that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but anyway. I'm going to be using my Essence Brow Gel that she's running on her last days. I'm so excited. I love using up products. It makes me feel so accomplished in life. And then, okay, so I'm talking like a whole butt ton, and I have like so many products that I still need to open. Okay, really not that many. But the first product, the next product I'm going to do is mascara. And I actually have two new mascaras. I'm so excited. This is the Ulta Beauty Maximum Lashes Defining and Lengthening Mascara. This used to be my favorite mascara, and I freaking love it. It's just so, this just gives me the exact thing that I want for my eyes. And I'm going to talk and use this and see if I poke my eye out. <laughs> um, it just gives me everything that I want in a mascara. Like that girly, wispy, just beautiful, beautiful length and everything i do have to say though that these things these like bristles or whatever they're called are really pokey so um i'd be careful um if i were you they're really like pointy and like they really hurt your eye so they're not really good for this one is not really good for your lower lashes but it's really great for your top lashes like look this just looks so good um and i'm gonna use my Too Faced mascara for my lower lashes this mascara does make my lower lashes look so good, but I would never rebuy it just for my lower lashes. Um, no. But I have to use it up. Okay, and then this other mascara that I got is another Ulta Beauty mascara. This is a curled up curling and sculpting mascara. I haven't used this yet. I haven't tried it. I don't think, I haven't opened it yet. And I don't want to open it because I'm still using up the other couple mascaras that I have. So I don't want to have like six open at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Because that would be a little bit crazy. Real quick, oh my gosh, you know what I forgot to mention? First of all, I tested out this Too Faced Born This Way mess, uh, foundation from Sephora, and I freaking love it. And then I have to test out this Beach Cosmetics foundation. We'll do that in a video, probably. And then this next thing is this e.l.f. Um, clay eyeshadow palette. It's, this is horrible. It's muddy together. It's not a good palette. I don't know what e.l.f. sends, like, the free stuff, the worst quality, like, they have. That one didn't even swatch. It's just not a good quality. I don't know why they do that because it turns people off. And, like, I got these together. Why would you do this to me? This is horrible. This is amazing. That was just dumb on Elf's part. Honestly, and then, it, but it did come with this Elf Day and Night Lips Duo. I love this. This is so beautiful. Jerks. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to keep going. Um, but they came with this duo and I freaking love it. It's so moisturizing. The e.l.f. lip products are so moisturizing. I love them. I want to get the e.l.f. moisturizing lip balms because this lipstick is so beautiful. And it is supposed to be like the moisturizing lip um, sticks and I love them. They're so good. I love e.l.f. lipstick. So if you're looking for a good creamy moisturizing lipstick, e.l.f. literally has them. So good random side notes so let's do oh my gosh we have to do highlighter i have two highlighters i have the highlighters in here and i have the essence pure nude highlighter um i'm gonna show you guys this one first because i just want to show you this um i don't know if this is the exact highlighter that i'm so pissed off right now why would someone do that? that's so rude and it's like right outside my door too okay Real quick, before they start up again, this is high, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight, number 10. And I don't know if this is the highlight that everybody talks about, but it is freaking blinding. It is so beautiful. Um, but the, they just came out with new ones, um, new highlighters. So I wasn't sure if this was one of the new ones or if this was the old one that everybody loves. But these highlighters are so blinding. I'm obsessed. I like it because it doesn't look like too crazy. Like looks so, so unnatural. Like obviously highlight is not natural. Nobody just gleams like this. You crackhead. 
nobody just cleans like this but like it's just so pretty i love it and then i want to add on top what i've been doing is adding this middle highlight from the elf palette on top and i freaking like i love the combination and i'm not a highlight girl but this is like such a beautiful combination like this is this is poppins so next what i'm gonna do is did i touch on everything um, I think so. So let's next we're gonna do lips. Yeah, these came. These are the two lip products that came in the Elf Modern Metals collection. Um, again, they're just this is like the Elf Modern Metals liquid lipstick. So like if you're looking for it, just look up the Modern Metals liquid lipstick. Like that's the name of it. And this is the Elf Modern Metals lip gloss. So if you're looking for the lip gloss, just look that up. So this liquid lipstick I have used this and I freaking love it. I love the shade. It is just so pretty on. Um, okay, yeah. So this is the color. Of this i'm probably gonna take it off and just put on the gloss so i can show you but this liquid lipstick is really beautiful it's really pretty um i don't elf does not have my favorite liquid lipstick formula it's just it just doesn't and um i've had better like the um wet and wild ones better i think they just they just their formula for liquid lipstick is not not good at all and it does dry down really fast so i'll give them that it dries down so fast like it's literally like basically dry um right now and i just put it on like two seconds ago so I'll give them that, but, like, the thing is that, like, it doesn't stop drying, and, like, at moments you'll feel like, oh my gosh, my lips are, like, ripping apart because they're cracking, you know what I mean? I just, I'm not a really big fan of the e.l.f. liquid lipstick formula, but I might keep using this because I love the shade of this. Like, I might add, like, a lip balm or something underneath it just so it doesn't get too dry. Um, but when I first used it, I thought it was a different formula, but it just, it wasn't, and... Right now it feels really good because it's so matte and like I feel like it's not sticky or anything like or gross. But when I first apply I don't really like the feeling of it on my lips. And right now like even talking I feel like I need to put chapstick on because my lips feel dry. So I do have to keep testing it out obviously keep trying it out. This video is really long and I talked a really long time about this liquid lipstick. But I just want you guys to know that. So a lot of people have been putting this liquid lipstick. Should I put it on top? Um, this lip gloss on top. So I'm going to do that and see... I like it. It's not that bad, but I don't like this. <laughs> okay, honestly, I'm being like completely honest. I don't know who want whose idea it was to combine these two lip products because they don't look good together. Like the idea was that you can wear like uh the whole collection together, but I just don't I don't think the lip gloss looks good at all with the liquid lipstick. Like I've tried it with different looks on my eyes. It just it doesn't look good together. And the the first time I tried the lip gloss, I'm going to put it on by itself. Okay. I don't know what happened, but the first time I look, used my lip gloss, I felt like I was... There still is a little bit. The first time... Ugh, I keep repeating my sentence. Because there's just so much glitter in this lip gloss, I don't really like it. <laughs> I feel like um, there are moments where you can rub your lips together and feel like chunks on your lips and that's very few the first time i put it on i th i was like i felt like i was eating grain i don't know what was wrong with it like maybe the first time i don't know maybe i had to shake it or something i don't really know but it is just so glittery and i guess it's pretty but like look look at my face there's glitter all over my face i don't hmm. i'm not a fan hate saying that because i bought it you know what i mean but i'm really just not a fan and again i'm gonna keep testing it out because i did buy it um and keep testing both of these out but i don't i think that elf should have stopped the collection here and came out with like a bronzer or like um something else or like a <sighs> I don't even know. Or, or if they came out with a... I got really excited because I remembered. Like, or if they came out with a moisturizing lipstick. Oh my gosh, that would be so much better. There's still glitter. I just wiped it off. There's still glitter on my lips. This is unacceptable. I don't like this. Anyway, okay, again, this video is really long. But I really just felt like... Like, Elf has come out with this. Uh, the lip... The lip, tinted lip oil. And this is just so much better than this. This formula is just so good. This is just so chunky. And I feel like it's just... 
so cheapy like kids makeup like I might just give this to a kid and be like here's some lip gloss because it's like chat I don't know it's just so cheapy I don't really like it I don't like either of these lip products so if you're trying to buy this collection I'm so sorry to say it but I think that these are you should just buy these two and skip over these two they're just not that good quality anyway so yeah So guys, that was it for this really, really long video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot, had a lot to talk about, but like I'm kind of living for my makeup right now. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.